So I'm 41, and one of the issues that I see a lot of guys around my age um, start to develop and have is things like sleep apnea, um, maybe the development of starting with like heart issues, you know, shortness of breath, things of that nature. Um, there are a whole variety of reasons why, you know, stress being one of them, but from a, a gym and training perspective, one of the biggest culprits would be like a lot of excessive bodybuilding work or a lot of these like higher rep hit style workouts, like hundred squats, hundred push-ups, um, you know, like hundred burpees for time, like things like that. And the reason why is there's actually a couple of reasons why number one, and probably foremost is that we're stiffening everything around our torso and our breathing mechanism. So like if I do a lot of chest work, I'm benching all the time, I've been doing it for 20 years, my chest is gonna be super stiff all the time. It's gonna be harder to expand my chest while when I inhale, therefore I'm gonna to have to use accessory muscles of breathing that are gonna cause me to stiffen up my neck um, and force me to breathe more through my mouth. Number two, would be a lack of CO2 tolerance, okay? When I start to you know, breathe that way, my body starts to have to do more shallow inhales. And as a result, I start to kind of put threat into my system. My body feels like it needs more air, but it can't do as much with it. Um, and there, there, you know, there's more science behind that. But the bottom line is that those two things cause me to not get as much air in. It affects my concentration. Um, ultimately it leads me to have a harder time breathing as I sleep. Um, and it just makes things generally more difficult for me. Um, and potentially leads me towards sleep apnea. Um, so what do we do instead? Again, long rabbit hole, something that I could go into in depth, but aerobic workouts, all right, things where we're nasal breathing. So when we're doing our strength training, focusing on breathing through our nose the entire time, when we're doing our cardio, rather than sprinting and getting yourself to the point where you're like, <gasps> and doing that for like an hour, um, taking 80% of your training and breathing through your nose and kind of keeping at that level and the other 20% sprint as hard and as fast as you can, and then use your nose to downregulate. Those things will actually help you to breathe better. It'll open you up more and it'll take away this mechanism that's causing everything to stiffen up and keep you from you know, being able to perform at your utmost, it's also going to increase your cognitive performance and ultimately lead to longevity. So hopefully that makes sense.